Hey everybody, we're back. Joey Ciccone show, the way it used to be. You know, I'm here with Frank Collada. You know, you get a little nervous sometimes. So you know, I get I get a little neurotic. So now we got to just talk like we're like we're family. Frank's gonna talk about his books. Frank, let, let's talk about this right here. This this book right here. Tell tell us about it. Tell the this, people about this it. This book here, Collada. It's been out seven years, going on eight years. That's very good for a book to last. They usually pull them off the shelves in seven. Right. So it's going very strong. This book starts out when I was very young, a teenager, and how I met Tony Splacho. It gives the whole deal there, how we hooked up. I know Tony Splacho since 1949. Wow. The only one that knows him any longer is his two brothers. Okay. I know him longer than anybody that's walking the face of the earth. Did you guys go to school together or anything like that? Or yeah, we school? went to Montefiore. We went to the I know, school. I know the school. It was a bad school. You yeah, know. no, I know. I mean, I know. Tough I school. Yeah. 95, well, 97% black, and okay. we were the other 3%. Right. <laughs> Fight every day. <laughs> Two pies on. For something, these black people thought we had money. What were we doing in their neighbor, <laughs> in their school if we had money? We'd pick a better school to go to. But they thought white people all had money, so that what happened. We fought every day. You know, we of, got a lot of respect. A lot of fights going on. You had the respect. Now, where can they get this book right here? You could get important. this book. You could get this book on Amazon.com, or you could go to holeinthewallgang.biz, and I will personally sign it then and send it to you. Right. That's the way you'll get an autograph book. That's the way you get the autograph for it, and, and Frank does signings. There's the tours. Yeah. There's other things that we're going to speak about, but right now we want to talk about this book. Let's get down to it, okay? Let's get down to the basics. This is Vegas now, 2015, right? Right. It's I not like, the same town, Joe. Yeah, it's, I, I've said it from the beginning. Now, we, me and you were just talking here, you know, as gentlemen, and, uh, you know, obviously, you know, Frank gave me a beautiful compliment that uh, took 10 years off my age. But in 1960, when I was raised, you know, in Chicago, I was I was around that whole scene. So yeah, it is different. And the question I want to ask you, and I know the people out there want to know, Frank, is uh, I'll just word it like this: If the outfit controlled Vegas, like they did in the time with you and Anthony, the Hole in the Wall gang, we know the stories. You've seen Casino. You know his life story. I don't need to get into everything. I would have to have him on 10 shows just to get a small idea. But my, my point is this. How would Vegas be today? They would be making more money, for sure. The casinos would be making more money. There would be more gambling out here, which uh, they don't care now because they'd like it's just entertainment. They right. open up these big nightclubs and have these big swimming pool parties. Yeah. And the casinos aren't making any money. That's why the rooms are, the prices of the rooms are so high. Okay. Uh, before there was a time when the high rollers or anybody coming to the gamble, they comp you a room. Gabby, yeah. You they, know, they, they, comp they the room bring you to... back and forth to the airports. Now they put you in a, a jigsaw wagon or something to drive you to the airport if you're busted, <laughs> you run out of money. But, you know, I still love Vegas, and uh, maybe one day it'll change and go back to being a little bit more generous to the people but could it go back to never le and let me just say it i'm gonna say it when you controlled it along with other people i have to say it because it's true it'll never go back to that because you got the big brothers over there the government and uh they just screwed everything up you know and they know it and i know a lot of ex-fbi agents and they, they sure. admit to it sure and you know as an entertainer and, and being with miles davis and and working for 40 years in the entertainment field I came out to Vegas 11 years ago wow you know like to step in a room the way it used to be that's very important and I don't knock anyone or their entertainment out there but things ain't the way they used to be and I liked it that way I grew up that way and Frank was around in there tell me about this book over here now a lot of books two books this is the, my second book this came out December of this year. And uh, what I couldn't put in the first book, I put in this book. So it covers pretty much everything. Otherwise, it would have been a 600-page book. Right, exactly. So we just cut it up, and I waited seven years before I'd done the second book. 
Now, I'm, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. doing. I'm in the process of doing another book, but it's not going to be about me. This other book I'm doing is going to be about Tony Splatcho, and very that nice. should be out the first of next year. Well, very nice. I wish you a lot of luck on that. And is it just going to be talking about your friendship, uh, everything, business? Okay, so anything friend, you could think of. Okay, you, you heard that right there. I'm just looking at a chat here, Frank. I just said I have read both books. And they are tremendous. Look behind the scenes. Highly recommend these books. I ain't saying it. Somebody's chatting here. They're smart people. Now, yeah, well, that's probably maybe a friend from Chicago or some, <laughs> someone you know. I, mean, I got on, the pistol to his head. Yeah, well, pistol, yeah, he's there. I tried to drive him over in the El Dorado without the AC. He didn't want to do it. All right, how are we doing on time? Yeah, hold up time. Ah, we got a lot of time. It's beautiful, all right? So I'm going to get back. You know, that documentary you saw out there, uh, Frank had did that. He was just telling me that, you know, that they, they, they shot that. Uh, where was it, Frank, in San Diego? Yeah, we shot it in San Diego in a warehouse. And I thought it was marvelous. I, I You know, to be honest with you, I, I ain't going to tell no stories. I watched it last night. Again, I watched it this morning. I, I thought it was done very well. And uh, you tell it the way it is, and that's what I like. Um the bottom line is you've been there you know friends what's gone on okay and this man is still here 30 years later and he can tell a lot of stories about vegas uh what i want to mention is uh you married you got kids family? no i'm not married no more i uh i stopped that game a long time ago after the third time i figured uh, no more after this Thank you know. you. Thir th three times three times yeah. happened. i mean they're all good ladies don't get me wrong yeah. I got nothing bad to say about him. I'm not the marrying type. Well, that's all right. No, you know, you hang out. You know, he likes cigars, you know. So, you know, he hangs out. They come to visit him. He signs I'm a, a pretty book. private guy, Joe. I know oh, that. Right. I know. Well, you know, you gave out Becky's number. So uh, that's the only information you're going to get right now. Uh, Frank's got the books. We want. I want to talk about, let's go back to the tours a minute, okay, and then, I don't want to jump ahead, but I'm trying to get some things in. Go ahead. I want to tell you something. I'm also, I also became an ordained minister. I was going to get into it, but go ahead. Just. I now can marry people, all right, Le legitimately. And I'm. we're opening up a business. It's going to be a mobile chapel with oh, nice. these big party bus, and we're, we're working on it right now, the bus. Should be done in about two, three months, and we're going to be working with the chapels in town, and I'm going to be... be performing weddings uh and that should be before the year's up we'll have that up and running really it's going to be sharp unique you know i'm tipping it off right now i hope nobody copies no no to, i have to flatten their tires no hey no no one's going to copy nothing you know who we're here with okay all right no. if not then you know i got to jump in and help out but the bottom line is this he's got the ordained minister thing going on the books Okay, we got a few seconds before we go to break. I want to just tell you, I'm here with Frank Collada. Okay, you're watching the Joey Ciccone show. All right, I'm loving this. It's casual day. It's actually it's casual Friday for me. We got a lot more questions. I know what you're saying right now, Joe. Why don't you ask the real questions? Well, that's what I'm going to get into in this next segment. Okay, we'll be right back. Chicago boys. <laughs> 